Hi, my name is Will Stewart, I'm Director of Media for the Tim Hudak Campaign. I wanted to speak to you directly today, and we'll be doing this throughout the campaign, about the first week on the campaign trail here in Ontario, but more specifically about Kathleen Wynne's terrible first week on the trail. Every single day this week she's been forced to respond to mismanagement and overspending and scandals that have plagued the McGuinty Wynne government for well over a decade now. No matter how many times she jogs by the river, she's not going to be able to outrun that record. On Monday of this week she was forced to respond to new allegations in the gas plant scandal as we responded to her frivolous lawsuit. On Tuesday of this week, Kathleen Wynne was forced to acknowledge her role in the McGuinty government. She said she was proud of her record and that McGuinty and her accomplished so many things together. I'm wondering if she more proud of power plant cancellations that cost a billion dollars, she more proud of e-health scandals or the orange air ambulance scandals, is she more proud of the OPP investigation inside the Premier's office, or is she more proud of increased taxes that put a burden on average everyday families. Worse still, Kathleen Wynne has proven again this week that she has absolutely no plan to address the issues that Ontario faces. She has no plan to counter the job losses at Unilever in Bramalee. She has no plan to reduce electricity prices so people like Magna can reinvest in this once strong province. Let's just take a look at yesterday on the campaign trail as an example. Kathleen Wynne stood up in front of an elite group of people in, in an organized breakfast in Ottawa. She took pre-scripted questions and talked about how it was Stephen Harper's fault that 300,000 manufacturing jobs have left Ontario. Then she went to on a jog and then she went to a campaign office opening with her liberal partisan friends. Tim Hudak on the other hand went to a job site. He took unscripted questions from gentlemen in hard hats about how we improve the apprenticeship sector in Ontario. He then went and held a town hall meeting live streamed to the internet, live streamed to broadcasters with average Ontarians and took questions from the floor without notes for well over an hour. Kathleen Wynne's party is so unprepared for this election she still does not have a full slate of candidates. Candidates. What does it say when your party can't even attract 107 people who are willing to wear the Liberal red for the writ period? Tim Hudak's Progressive Conservative Party has had a full suite of 107 candidates since before the writ was issued. We are ready for this election. Our leader is focused, our leader is driven, and we're going to take our plan to turn Ontario around to the entire province. I'm Will Stewart, I'm Director of Media for the Ontario PC Campaign, and I look forward to speaking with you again soon.